This is lesson 8-4, division properties of exponents. So when you divide powers with the same base, you're going to keep the base and you're going to subtract the exponents. The formal definition is as follows. For every non-zero number a, where m and n are rational numbers, a to the m over a to the n is equal to a to the m minus n power. Here are some examples for you. Note once again from our lesson in 7-1 that if you end up with a negative exponent, you must make the exponent positive by applying the rules of negative exponents. Raising a quotient to a power is similar to what we did in the last lesson with raising a product to a power. To raise a quotient to a power, raise the numerator and the denominator to, a, to the same power and simplify. Here are some examples. Remember that if you have a numerical term, you must evaluate it completely. Here are some examples. Pause the video at this point to give yourself a chance to do the examples on your own. Here are your answers. The first one, we're going to subtract 5 halves and 2. 5 halves minus 2 gives me 1 half. So I have x to the 1 half power. The next one, I distribute the power to both, so I get z squared over 5 to the third power, which is 125. The last one I'm going to do in steps because it's so difficult. First thing I'll do is distribute the power of negative 3 to both the numerator and the denominator. That gives me 2 to the negative third, x to the negative 18th, all over y to the negative 12. That is a big mess. But applying the rules of negative exponents will make it look a lot prettier, and that just makes it y to the 12th over 2 to the 3rd, x to the 18th. Evaluating 2 to the 3rd to 8 gives me a final answer of y to the 12th over 8x to the 18th. If you're having difficulty with this particular lesson, please make sure you consult your teacher in class.